Hey everybody, I'm Luca Paris, and today is going to be one of my favorite culinary journeys. I have a special guest and a good friend, Randy Beaton, on with me. He works at the Keen Fire Department, and I always thought it would be really cool to cook food for the fire guys. I mean, they do so much for us, it would be really awesome if we could cook them a dinner. Well, we're going to work on some ideas that they could do on their own, but one day, one day, I'll get to cook for all of them right at their new station. So today, I actually went online and started looking what do firefighters eat, right? So I found a cool couple of websites that talks about how they eat and what they eat and why they make certain things. Today, we're going to be making a couple of items. One, it's a long cooking, slow process. So you can either put it in a slow cooker or in the oven for two or three hours. We're going to do it on the, on the top of the stove, but it's something you can get reheated. It's actually going to be pork country style spare ribs with some uh, apple beer that'll be cooked all the way down. We're going to add some sauerkraut caraway seeds, white onions. You're going to love the way that looks. Then we're going to take a chicken dish. We're going to spice that up to the next level because I know Randy likes spice. Maybe he doesn't. You don't know that yet. Hey, we're going to take that. We're going to give it a little bit of pepper and kind of Cajun feel. Then we're going to do shrimp. And we're going to do a shrimp that you could put in fajita or anywhere you want. We'll put that with a nice little marinade. It could be great for a salad. Those items, Randy, and you never know what's going to happen because this is our culinary journey, and it starts now. Welcome back to A Culinary Journey. Again, I'm Luca Paris. This is Randy Beaton, firefighter extraordinaire. What's up, brother? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on with me Thank today. you. Well, we're going to have a blast. We're going to cook some food that you could then cook back there. Sounds good. Do you guys take turns? Uh, we do take turns. We do have our set um, people that love to cook. Right. We have quite a few hunters. Right. So they bring in a variety of different game. Nice. Which, you know, we got bear, moose, deer. Really? Oh, yeah. The whole gamut. We go from sausage to roast, so... Some on the grill, some yeah. slow roast. So we have. Good is, there, time. is there ever like any crazy competitions between these guys, or they want to outdo each other? Um, on my shift, we have a little bit of competition because right. we have a true outdoorsman. Then we have uh, a little guy we call Matt Italian, who likes to throw some throw some stuff out there. So it's a little bit of competition here and there, but it's all friendly. Excellent. All well, friendly. let's let's hope we give you some ideas to bring back, and then maybe one day get to cook for all of you. That's Perfect. Awesome. That'd be awesome. All right. That's what we'll do. Well, today we're going to start with pork ribs with, well, actually ribs off of a pork loin. We're going to do that with some sauerkraut and caraway seeds, and we've got some things cooking on. I need to get that on first. That's the most important thing. So let's do that. Now, the recipes that I've gotten were actually from a, a website. that was all firefighters that send in recipes, and it's really cool. And one of the things I figured out, and, and I was reading about, is that you try and make stuff that's well, easy to reheat later on or takes a long time. Casseroles are big. Yep, they are. And it's because you just never know when you're going to get called out, right? That's right, because we can put something on the grill or something on, and the bell goes off, and you're like, we're either gone Gotta for go. five minutes or we're gone for an hour. Right, so you never so, know. So exactly. it's better it's stuff that you can reheat later. Exactly. So i got a couple of things that could be real quick to cook that can hold, and then you could use them later on. All right, sounds good? Sounds good. All right, so the first thing I'm doing, we're going to get our um, pork going. So I got a, pan, a big pan over here that I'm going to do the whole pork in here, kind of like a slow cooker thing. And I'll show you what I mean by the uh, country style ribs. On a pork loin, you cut down a certain section that's not, it looks a little fattier. It doesn't look necessarily as, as uh, light pink. It's a little darker. Mm -hmm. And they, they pretty much cook down like what's called country style ribs. They're right off the loin. There's a little fat on nice. e either side. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to just season it. I have work for you to do a little bit later on, but I need to get this in Sounds first, good. all right? So we're going to season it with salt and pepper on both sides. <laughs> um, you cook a lot at home, too, or? I do. I'm yeah? kind of the primary cook just because of my schedule, and it works out that way. It allows you to do more of that? It does. Cool. It does. Cool. Yeah, I'm not at home because my schedule tells me I only cook at work. Yeah. And here. Yeah. And I'm not allowed in my kitchen. Yeah. 
Because you got to see what the floor looks like most of the time. When yeah, I'm done here. well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, right. So, so I'm toasting. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. you. Yeah, you've heard about uh, that. Yeah, well, you? a little. Yeah. <laughs> now, what I'm doing is toasting the caraway seeds. So anytime I, you add a seed or a nut or something to mm -hmm. a, a dish, by toasting them, you bring out their natural oils, and they add more flavor later on. Okay. So if I just threw them in, they'd be okay. But toasted, they just go to that next level. And there's no oil in the pan. There's nothing except for just the seeds themselves and the heat, and you just can't let them go too long. That's okay. all. So I, I'm getting this pan nice and hot. I'm gonna get a little, whoa, that's not oil. Where's my oil? My oil's over there. What are you doing with my oil? Well, you know, there? I like oil. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna just get some oil in the bottom of this pan and then get that nice and hot. You hold on to that again. Right. Just remind me it's there, because I'll forget. And then we're gonna take our pork with the fat side down, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna start getting it in there. We'll get a little sizzle going on. Now this is great because all we're really doing is searing this off. Again, I need to get this in quick and get this moving because I want to make sure we can get to our other dishes. And then as hot as you can get it, basically? Huh? Get, it, get it nice and hot um, to, a, to a, I mean, I, I guess I don't have to tell you guys about smoke points on oil and things mm -hmm. like that. Where they, you want to get it to a point where it's smoking, but not where it's going to be really, it's going to burn anything. Okay. And the different oils you use are what is going to help you cook better like think uh, let's think about it this way olive oil has a lower flash point yep and you can use something like a canola oil or a vegetable oil and you'll get that even hotter into the pan so there you go Perfect. this is my tip of the day there you go that's all i got <laughs> all right <laughs> i sear one side i'm going to flip it over this is where i'm going to add my caraway seeds just get those in the pan also because now after this everything just goes right on top got that sauerkraut over there Oh, we need an onion, too. That's a... Red onion? No, oh, yeah, we'll use a red onion for this. And we need an apple for this, too. Oh, man, oh. there's a whole bunch oh, of stuff. You. I'm forgetting about it. Just getting excited to have you on the show, man. It's been so long. It's a good time. Yeah. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut, cut an apple. Hey, how are you with a knife? Fair. Fair? No, I'm good. <laughs> it's not pretty, but I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I should give you a knife. Here, how about I give you this knife? Want to cut me some red onion? Where is it? Or how about you cut me the apple? I'll cut the onion. Oh, I've seen you cut red onion, so you, okay. you make it look pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. <laughs> He's been watching my show. Here. I have. You cut, cut me small, thin slices of that. I'll cut the onion. So in there right now, we have the pork. We have the, the, um, the cider. It's a Samuel Smith cider beer. We're going to let that kind of cook in there. And then I'm going to cut an onion, and he's going to cut an apple. And we're not worried about searing or sauteing any of this. What we want to do is just kind of let them cook down by themselves. And we're gonna get that apple flavor from the beer. We're gonna get the fresh apple that's coming off of there. We got the caraway seeds. And you're the man, thank you very much. My son would be impressed. He would? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get those in. How are those apples coming good? All right, I'll grab those, put those in. And now we put in our sauerkraut. And then we're gonna let this all cook down. All right. We're going to put this in here, cover it, get the sauerkraut over the top of it, all right? Mm. Cover that. And that's what yeah. you call about slow cooking for a long time. We we'll keep it on medium heat. And this could be done one or two ways. It could be popped in the oven. Mm -hmm. Or what we could then do is just slow cook it on there. If you have, do you guys use a lot of crock pots and things like that? We do. All right. Actually. So you could put it in a crock pot, come back about four, five, six hours later. Even longer, it'll hold up. Mm. The pork's going to get nice and tender. All the flavors of the apple, the onions, the sauerkraut, they all come together. It's going to be a great dish for us later on. So we'll eat that Beautiful. at the end of the show. In the meantime, what we're going to get started with is making a marinade for the shrimp we're doing. All right? okay. And then when we come back, we'll cook our shrimp, get our chicken going, because we have a chicken that has this kind of Cajun feel, blackened shrimp salad or with peppers kind of mm -hmm. thing. And then we'll also talk about the pork. So okay. in your blender, make sure it works first. Press one of those buttons. It works. Wonderful. All right. In your blender, we're going to put a couple of flavors in there. Ready? Some garlic. Yes, some garlic. A couple of scoops of sour cream. Let me get you a scoop. And this is going to be a make, make a great marinade or even a dressing. Got that? A couple of scoops. A couple of scoops. Now, how spicy do you like spicy? You know, I like spicy, but then again, I can... I can eat ketchup and sweat, but okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay, we won't be doing that but anytime again, soon. It's, it's all good. All right, that's a, so it doesn't matter. No, you got to jump in. All right. <laughs> all right, so put as much Tabasco sauce as you want. All right. 
I'm kind of scared. Ooh. Oh, you know, I'm just going to jump right in. You know? All right, go for it. When in Rome. Uh, a little bit of honey. Or keen. We want a, <laughs> or keen. Or if I'm on Cabin Tree Studios. Exactly. There you go. A little bit of cumin and some Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to get some great flavors in there. Doing all right? Oh, I'm doing great. Yeah. I studied. You studied. A little bit of cumin, like all of it, or just no, a little no, bit? No, just a couple of pinches. Like a, like a pinch. Pinch. Ooh, like a pinch. There you go. That's perfect. Ooh, wow. That's all. I'm going to start my own show. There you go. You... And all this? Mm, just go like that and stop. Oh. That's beautiful. <laughs> You're good. You, you right, just well, got squeeze some lemon in there? I'm going to start. I'm going to branch out. Yeah, I think so. Give me a day off or two. I got 10 years to go. Yeah, you can do, and then, then you can so, take over for I need me. something. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start you working at my place first. There a little bit go. of garlic powder. Did we put? Did we put garlic? We did. Then we don't need the garlic powder. Oh. Give me that back. And then we'll do uh, no powder. No powder. You want you can't powder? Pinch. You can't pinch. All right, pinch a little bit. Oh, doesn't hurt. <laughs> I love the pinch. All right. Now I'm going to show you. This is basically going to actually work like a salad dressing. And then we're going to put some fresh cilantro in there. And nice. you want to take the top of it off. The top on the top. See this little top thing right top. there? Because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with this. Pop that back on. Now people like to buy salad dressings because they think it's so hard to make. Exactly. You just made one. All right? Nice. So the only thing you're going to do, we're going to just put this on a mix. And then start pouring oil. You keep pouring. You, you take hold of this. Oh, OK. And you keep pouring oil in there. That's you. All right. Randy's going to pour some oil, right? He's going to pour this oil. We're going to make a nice salad dressing. When we come back, we're gonna start working on shrimp and chicken, a couple of different ways, giving a black and feel and all that. And then when we fin when we get to the end of this, we got pork going. Keep pouring. Keep pouring. We'll see you in a minute. Come on back. Keep pouring. I'm pouring. Keep pouring. Hey everybody, welcome back to a culinary journey. Randy, having okay. fun, man? A lot. We only got one dish done. Oh, and we got, let's show everybody what, but actually almost, we could have used a little more oil, but I love the way this came out because this is going to be almost like a topping to just pan sear shrimp. It smells great. It's going to be incredible. You wait. So what I'm thinking is, this is what we're going to do with our stuff. So we have this slow cooking. We're going to do a Cajun style chicken that we're going to slow cook also. Perfect. So you're going to cook up some peppers, onions, and well, two color peppers and onions. We'll add some other things into there, give it a little spice with the chicken. We're going to stew that down also. We're going to put some tomatoes in there. We're going to get all those flavors together. Okay. Again, slow cook, long time. We'll come back to it when we need it. And we don't right. have to worry about overcooking. We don't have to worry about things getting um, you know, dry or anything because it will all be in the flavor. Ideal. Sounds good? Sounds good. And then we're going to make a quick dish where we're going to take your marinade, which is pretty awesome, and with cilantro and sour cream. And then we add some oil. What else we put in there? A little Tabasco. Little Tabasco, okay. <laughs> and we're gonna pan sear garlic. some shrimp. Pinch I'm, gonna, of garlic. I'm gonna blacken some shrimp and then we're gonna pan sear those real quick. All right, so I need you to cut the peppers, but I wanna show you something cool to cut peppers the long way. You can cut one top off, cut the bottom off, and then just cut a piece right there. And you kind of unwrap the pepper. See that? Well, we'll make sure we get all the way through. So, you know, go. My son Carter thinks this is cool. Cause oh, because he, he got to see it? He saw it. Yeah, so you unwrap the pepper kind of bounce out the seeds, and if it's a big pepper, you just take it in half, kind of bounce out the seeds. And then when you cut down, you just go right into the, into the pepper, and you get these nice lines, and kind of just right through. So it's good. There you go. That's You're perfect. on it? I'm on You're it. You're on that. All right, you do that. Oh, you need the pepper. There well, you go. Pepper. And you need the knife. OK. Oh, my knife. Man, you are needy right uh, now. I am very well, <laughs> you only, if you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> and then I am going to take the chicken, I'm gonna start cutting that up. So in the back pan right here, we're gonna get some oil in the pan. Let me cut up my chicken first. Now, we've done chicken a bunch of different ways. Usually they come in these big, these are lobes of chicken. Right there is two different breasts. You take off a little fat on one side and take that off. And, and I'm not going to really do um, pounding it out thin because what I really wanna do is just cut thin slices off of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take all the fat off, but you could also leave it on if you want. And then on an angle, I'm just gonna cut myself a little thin slices that'll cook quickly so and then kind of stew in what we're doing. This is great for dark meat too. What are you thinking? So now cutting it on an angle, that just opens it up? Gonna, it's going to make it a little, I could get it thinner and, yep. you know, I, I mean, usually you just dive right in there and then wash your hands, but you got 
I got my utensils here to hold everything. There we go. Nice. I'll get that. Get one more piece going. And that's what we're going to get in there and season it. So a little bit of oil. Where's the oil, Randy? That's my oil. Always on your side. We're running out of oil with all the oil you used. <laughs> <laughs> While we do that, here, you hold on to that. Let's go take a look at our um, pork, too. See how that's like cooking all around? The, the oh, onions are awesome. cooking down. Oh, this is going to be a great dish. I can't wait. I'm ready for that one. It's going to be my favorite. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's switch this up. And whoa. Sorry. Everybody goes for that. You're okay. all, always in that garbage can. So what do you think about the set? Did I not have this on? Oh, there we go. What do you think about the set? Do you like it? This would be great. Can I just move it to my house? It would be good. It, we could try. <laughs> We get a big enough truck, we can move just about anything. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get the chicken in there. We'll salt and pepper that. Now we're going to add a little bit of coriander. That uh, gives it a nice little flavor, a little, yep. bit, a little bit of that cumin that we were using before because we're going to give it some Cajun feel. Use up that Worcestershire. That Worcestershire just gives depth of flavor. Okay. Now, flavor-wise, inside, it's you know, considered made, made from like anchovy flavor and, and that, but it just really it's salt and flavor-based. And it's underlying. People don't even notice it's in there a lot of times. I know people like it on their steaks, mm. too, and things like that. And then, because you like it just a little bit hot, nice. you put a little bit of Tabasco Ooh. sauce in. Hold on. <laughs> You're sweating already. Already. <laughs> I like lemon juice because I like to add a little bit of acidity. So we're going to kind of let the chicken cook down in there. Okay. We'll get your peppers in. Right. Again, see how we're making it, where we're just throwing everything on top mm -hmm. and maybe just getting it through? Well... That, that's important for you guys. It's where you just throw everything in. You don't have to worry about how long it's taking. You shut this off. If we walked away right now, we could shut that off, come yep. back to it. It actually would even get better. So if you could cut a green pepper, I'll cut an onion. And I always seem to get the onions to cut, don't I? Well, you know, I cry. Because you cry. I cry. You're a sensitive firefighter. Well, you know. You have to be. I have to be. <laughs> it's the way it works. Yeah. Yeah, they say, you know. Big guys cry. Yeah. So. There's a joke in there somewhere, right? Well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I, like my wife says, keep the day job. Yeah, exactly. All right, man. So you got that going on. How's that pepper? Oh, you, you're good at that, huh? You're going to do it at home for your kid now? Yeah. Although, you know, it's a tough act to follow. Yeah. Well, you know? do, you, uh, do you get to cook with them at all? I do cook with them when I can get their attention. <laughs> right, <Sometimes. laughs> when you keep um, them in Carter the Carter actually made a point that he told his mother that he helps me with the ingredients now. Which, oh, so he gets it together? So Yeah, so now he does. And cool. He's like uh, the little one. Griffin will be the table setter. Nice. Yeah, so. I'm going to sneak across you real quick. Yeah. So that sounds cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to get a couple of tomatoes in here. These are plum tomatoes from the can with some of the sauce. Watch out. They just shoot everywhere. We'll start cooking that down. So we'll get this whole dish going. And we just need some green peppers. How's that working? Perfect. All right. So the only thing we're missing right now, we have all our flavors in there. We got our pork cooking. We got our chicken cooking. I'm going to get that on real high because I want that to cook all the way through. Okay, where are we? High, high, high. There you go. We got those cooking. When we come back, we'll take a look at them. Get our shrimp. We'll pan sear it really quickly. Nice. We'll add that to it. I can't wait to try that combination. You yeah. could use that in a fajita, maybe use some of those peppers and onions the same way. And we'll put it all together. Perfect. Man, you having fun? I am having fun. So it's am good I. Time. Don't go away because we'll be right back in a culinary minute. Hey everybody, welcome back to our culinary journey. I'm here with Randy. We're having a great time, right? We are having a good time. He was going to say that no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're making is we're stewing some pork, onions, and uh, caraway seed right there. And then we're also stewing down the Cajun-style chicken. That chicken's cooking down with some tomatoes, peppers, onions. We're going to add in some fresh cilantro at the last minute. And then we started the day with yeah. our little uh, almost sour cream-esque dressing, right? Mm -hmm. Makes a great marinade if you want to do it. If you want to actually marinate the fish in there, you could do that. You could use it as what we're going to do, because I'm going to season some fish uh, season some shrimp right now, nice and heavy. We do a little salt and pepper. There's a little paprika in there. Let's put a little hot pepper. You know, I know how you are. Mm -hmm. A little cumin, and we'll just give that all a toss in there. I don't even have to do anything to it. Get some oil. I've learned where he keeps his oil. 
There you go. We'll get some oil in the pan, and we're going to sear these up really quick. That's another thing. I mean, let's talk about, you know, not only do you want to find stuff you don't have to, uh, you could hold, but if you can find stuff that you could cook quickly, that works also. It does. Right? Yeah. So we're going to get those in the pan and let them all cook up. So when they cook, when they start turning colors, they'll just, you know, get to that nice pink color, and it would take minutes to get just good shrimp going. Always get a little marinade or a little flavor on your shrimp. They're going to just come through in the cooking process. We'll let that cook up. What I'm going to do is take some fresh cilantro. And what you have in here in front of you right, man, if you want to take, take a bite and try it out, that's the pork that we did. We did a little bit ahead of time. You got the pork, the apples, the onions when it cooks down. Even cold, and we talked about that. You eat mm. cold stuff a lot, don't you? We do. So if it's good cold, that's okay for them. So we're going to put a little fresh cilantro on here. Oh, that's excellent. How's that, nice? Wow, very good. All right, so we have our stew in the back done with the cilantro on top. We'll be able to enjoy all that. And then this is the piece de resistance when you could do some shrimp. And someone could bring in some shrimp for you guys. It's a great way to do it. And just sear them off real quick. And that's it, a little bit on each side. Mm -hmm. That's all you really need to do. This is actually something cool to do at home or for a party. Kind of takes up the, kind of, takes the place of maybe even a shrimp cocktail. Mm. You know what I mean? If you wanted to do this for a party or a get together, you get some good shrimp. These, these shrimp are called um, 1620s. You know what the number is all about? I kind of do. I, I, put you, I put you on the spot, then. Well, I know it's, it's <laughs> to do with size. Yeah, yeah. And, and what it means is they're 16 to 20 per pound. Okay. So that's the size. So the, the lower the number, when they say it's a, a U6 shrimp, that means you get under six per pound. That means they're going to be a lot bigger. Okay. 2630s or 5090s or whatever, they're always a lot, a lot smaller. So that's it. I got a nice sear on the shrimp. Look at that. Oh, those are nice. A little blackened feel to them. Nice. They got the paprika. They're cooked just perfectly, and they cool off wonderfully for an appetizer. Or, as if you want, you can put that on a pasta dish or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, let's say you guys wanted to do something quick. I mean, really, this could have been pre-made. Yeah. How long did it take us to make these shrimp? A couple of minutes, couple right? A couple minutes. That's, That's all. And that is, want to eat one of these, buddy? You want one? Oh, without a doubt. So go ahead, go for it. Hmm. You go for that. I'll say goodbye. <laughs> and maybe this has got, got me, uh, this is my tryout to see if I could cook for the fire department. And, mm. isn't that yummy? Mm-hmm. Spicy? Mm -mm. You're not sweating. Mm -mm. You're doing all right. All right. Very so good. That's, what we, that's our tryout right there. Shrimp with Randy's uh, Tabasco cilantro nice sour taste. cream. Uh, this is the chicken that we're doing right here. I'll just show you the rest of it right there. Look at that all stewed down nicely. And, of course, the pork that we have right there. That's all we have time for, buddy. That's okay. Thanks for your help. That's very good. Thank you very much. It was a blast. Much. All right. Thanks, bye. We'll see you next time on A Culinary Journey.